want to introduce you to a family who wanted their young son with autism to learn to play the drums. But the company they hired to teach him shut down. His parents were promised a refund on the prepaid lessons so they could find a new teacher. But the check never came. That's when they knew they better call Bankin. And Eight on Your Side investigative reporter Shannon Bankin joins us now live on the morning show. First of all, it's so great to have you in. Thanks for coming in early. Thanks for having me. I'm glad to be here. Gail, when I heard about this story, it really touched my heart. I just had to get involved. I was able to track down the company owner, and he quickly spun into action. 11-year-old Nicholas's newfound interest in playing the drums gave his parents hope they had found a way to channel his autism. Drums are good because he can be physically active while he's playing music. So Roland Massa and his wife prepaid for lessons at Music World 28. After one month, the business abruptly closed and they were promised a $250 refund in the mail. Weeks went by, no refund. He heard promises. And then again, you should have your check by next week. Then an explanation. We went through a bankruptcy. Then more promises. And we'll be cutting the checks for you very soon. They should be out next week. That was like his go-to. When the check never showed up, they knew they'd better call Bankin. I found the owner working at a new business. Hi, I'm looking for the owner. Stephen Morgan explained what happened. I again um, apologize uh, for the closure of all those businesses, but unfortunately, um, you know, it's something that we had to do. Uh, financially. He promised to mail out a check the same day. That will definitely take care of it for them. So you are committed to taking care of it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Now they're looking for a new instructor to help Nicholas continue to learn. Again, the company owner tells me he never intended to leave this family without their refund, but he admits it did fall through the cracks. I give him credit, though, for keeping his word and making this right. You know, I've done so many stories with autism organizations and talked to so many families, and I know it's important to them to find, you know, a sense of balance in their child's life. And yes. this really was that for this child, the drums. It was, and it is again now. They're looking for a new instructor. Nicholas tells me he's very excited, and he says that he hopes that he can get a bigger drum set before the holidays. So now, here's I'm... something that you might not know about Shannon Bankin is that she used to play the drums growing I up did. as a child. I did. And I hear you taught the little boy a little trick. I did. I noticed when he was playing the drums that he wasn't putting his hands in the right places, so I was able to help him with that. It was very fun. Oh, was, that's great. It was a great experience. Well, thanks again so much for coming in this morning. Thank it's you. So fun having you here.